Now this looks like a tool and it is. It's a jig for my foam cutter and it looks a little bit strange and actually the whole tool is a bit strange. Um, I've designed it uh, for art students and I rarely use it. Uh, although recently I did and I think now it's time to actually make a short video about this little jig because it can do more than I thought myself. Um, you might have seen uh, the video about these, this gothic uh, roof arch element and in that uh, video I used the same jig, I used this jig in order to create this roof. Um, but just to explain what what this jig can do, let's let's show you right now. Okay, this is the peeler and the name, well, peeling like you peel a banana or you peel an orange, uh, this jig also enables you to peel layers of foam from a block. So let me see, I have, okay, I, I have a block here um, and I want to peel something off, mm, this block. So. I can actually say, okay, sure, I I peel it off. Now, where's the thing now yet? Full pedal, full pedal. <laughs> okay. So actually, it is a tool, the peeler that I that enables me to peel off slices of foam. Now, you can peel off foam uh, alongside any fence. So the normal fence like this one, you can peel off parts. But here we have a fence in uh, the shape of a tube. So if I have here, for instance, this curved piece and I want to peel something off, I am peeling it off. So I can actually peel off sheets or parts from a curved, an inward curved uh, shape. So you, so you can use this to uh, widen a specific curved part, if you like. It may sound a little bit vague, uh, but then again, I told I told you uh, this is was designed for art students because uh, the idea behind it they wanted to 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 cut freehand and cutting freehand um, that's of course that's nice but uh, if you cut freehand um, you have no control you have almost no control over your cuts and. Uh, you need some kind of support and here I have a support so I can still make all kinds of movements and and make shapes that start wide and ends up smaller or um, uh, go into another direction uh, by simply rotating the block while guiding along the tube. Um, Again, this is all quite fake, I can imagine, but let's make, I hope, a little boat. Let's make a little boat. I have a block. Uh, 
I have a boat. Now, let me see. This is way too large. So, that's a nice shape. There we go. That's my little boat. Okie dokie. So now it looks uh, from a, uh, a certain side, it looks like a boat, but it's way too chunky. So now I take my pillar. Now this is a very small example, very small example. So uh, uh, imagine you have a, a larger boat, uh, but okay, let's do this. So as you can see, I cut away strips of foam okay now here we have a little platform and actually I can start here approaching I can start approaching the wire and when I start cutting, let me see if I can do it. Now, I have to do it towards me, so I think it's a little bit hard to see. But you will see, I start from this platform, and when I'm on the tube, I can lower it down. And make my cut. Now it's not perfect yet, it's not perfect at all, but that's... Not a big issue. So here we have a very small, dreadful looking boat that makes you wonder Does this tool make any sense? Well, that's up to you. I think we do have a really bad boat. And now it's getting better. So I have to do some sanding still. Um, but yes, um, the peeler is a tool to slice, make curved things. Um, if you are focused on making buildings, uh, this is not the tool. If you want to create organic shapes, like out of foam, you want to make uh, an apple, a banana, an orange, a uh, fruit on one-on-one -on -one scale, or I don't know what, uh, then this might be interesting. Um, Anyway, I think uh, it was time to show you this tool. Um, not that exciting. Uh, you all almost start to believe that I am not excited about this tool. Well, I am. Uh, and simply because watch this video and you know why. Um, okay, that's it. Short video, the peeler. If you have any questions about this crazy tool, let me know. Uh, maybe you have have one and maybe you already work with it and 
uh, made some something using this tool. I would be very interested. So uh, let me know. Thank you for watching. Um, we have lunch now and then we go on to the next video shoot. See you later. Bye bye. Dat sloeg helemaal nergens op. Dat sloeg helemaal nergens op. Oh yeah.